is too good for this room. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 10 I, years I, since the Irish plant, black, black Irish plant. After Joe McDonald was here. of the Saddle Pals. How did you guys meet and how did you create this unique chemistry that you have now? Well, I'll start. The first time I ever saw Sourdough Slim, uh, we were in this band called Fiddlesticks and he was in a band called the 8th Avenue String Band. And um, the first time I remember seeing him was at a festival. It could have been the very first Strawberry Festival. Could have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, the four of us in Fiddlesticks were sitting in the front row watch, watching, maybe we'd seen you before, I mm -hmm. can't quit. But uh, he was such a goof, he, he stood out of the band. They were all pretty crazy, the whole band. But uh, Slim stood out, his facial expressions. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> we could. What was so uh, cool to my mind about Slim was he was an enigma. You couldn't tell if he was a true lunatic or... And I always said to him, you should just keep that enigma and don't ever speak because your face says it all. Of course, <laughs> then he had to go and talk and ruin the whole thing. That's my memory anyway. Yeah. Well, my memory is pretty much the same thing. I, I remember... Uh, Going into Richard Burley's craft festival, we were both booked maybe, there in Twain Heart. Maybe that's where it was. And I'd heard well, about you the, guys, and then we'd seen them. bam, there you were on stage, and we said, "This is them. Look at that." <laughs> and, and we went up and there you and left listened. And discussed. No, we we loved it. We thought this these guys are great. And then we got together and, and well, yeah. played in the Emerson House together, and then we kind of. I think we sat in with we each were, other here and there. And yeah. yeah. We but did that show. Remember we did that show down at Turlock? Uh, oh, the bands. Like the the pizza, bands. pizza parlor or something. Two bands. Oh. Yeah, the two bands did a, yeah. a few gigs oh, yeah. together. Yeah, and, we did some oh, gigs yeah. together. Very that complimentary. Was that was 80, maybe 81? Well, no, the first strawberry was 82. Wow. Oh, was it So it was probably that? 83 that, 83? that we was were that, at that craft that? fair. Okay, well, it was right in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, the yeah, other thing is, is he didn't play the, the accordion. In no, parts. I did not. I had he played mostly mandolin and mm -hmm. I guess Good guitar. Tenor, tenor guitar. Tenor, tenor banjo. And, and But banjo. he never played any accordion. And they were pretty much yeah. a, fairly much a bluegrass band with some, doing some old timey yeah. swing. Well, they did cow, you guys did a lot of cowboy stuff. We did. Swinging when I did, when stuff. I got the accordion, that was the end of the band. <laughs> well, Avenue? Lloyd was a banjo guy. Oh yeah, you know, he's a bluegrass. He was a bluegrass guy. He was a bluegrass guy in the accordion. No, he didn't. Want to. That's what I want to ask you. Like, you consider yourself like old time music, not even bluegrass, yeah. right? Well, yeah, but I That's work it quite a bit. <laughs> and Sardo, what would you call your genre of music? Early Americana? Yeah, I don't know the Western flair. I suppose, you know, it's because it incorporates everything. It's like like Bob Wills who had. You know, the b incorporated the blues and and novelty jazz and and swing and and uh, cowboy classics and you know uh, Dixieland and you know just a conglomeration of music that I love from the 20s and 30s. That's what it is. You know, just and with with a cowboy hat on. You can't sit back in a cowboy hat there, guys. So you guys just, even though it, it seems like the <coughs> generals are a little separated, you guys just had good chemistry? Well, from? the first time I remember actually seeing Slim with an accordion strapped to his chest was at another strawberry festival. We, disci we decided it was probably 1989, mm -hmm. and uh, we were playing. We had a little cabin. He came strolling up to our cabin going, look what I do. So he started playing these tunes, and we immediately started playing along with them, and yeah, it, was it was just really a perfect fun. fit. There was the three of us, and we were... <laughs> 
And we did it so through song. This trio right here started then, right there. And and Bass, right after, fiddle, and accordion. Right after that, we got there was a movie done in Sonora, Back to the Future Three, and we we were gonna be the band in the movie, and so we called Slim up and Chico and said, "Come on down, let's do do this movie. They want a pretty big band." So he, so we all hung around the set of that and played a lot too, and that's that was another binding experience. Yeah, well the, well the, one of the first legitimate gigs that you guys did with me, the Saddle Pals, was uh, at the Palms. At the Palms, it was and the that's Palms, where we got our name. Because it, I was uh, playing at the Palms, and Linda, who ran the place at the time, said, you know, why don't you do a solo show? You know, I like this character, so just, uh, do a solo show. And I was too, I said, oh man, I can't do a solo show, so I I'll get Bob and Chris to join me. That'll be it's bigger. She, that'll be easier. Linda's more fun. Linda's the one that named us the Saddle Pals. And Linda, the, the Palms name. She said, "You know what? You got to have a name." And, you, and she said, "How about the Saddle Pals?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's, let's go with that." I never, oh, yeah. I never heard this story. Yeah, that, that's right. It's true. Yeah, Linda came yeah. up with the name, it's the Saddle Pals, and so we went with it because she she had to put it on the, something on the poster. <sighs> That's where we and we kept wow. it, uh, and that's where we developed yeah. our stage persona, and and the crazy antics came right there, just um, when the we palms. were first playing. That yeah, all the jokes and late the banter. 80, late eighties, early nineties. At 90s. that time, Cactus Bob was pretty mean to Slim. He would say some really. Well, good also things. you had uh, you had on the little oh, sidekick glasses, and he, he had the flat. He had the flat yeah, uh, well, uh, Gabby well, Hayes hat. He tried a lot of different. Yeah, yeah, at the beginning he had different. these little glasses on. You can see <laughs> some of the. We were trying That's to, right. to make you the act work. Yeah. We tried to make a. a yeah, we character. didn't know. Who, we didn't know who we were. <laughs> in fact, in fact, that for if the, the Western Skies CD has a picture of Bob with with the glasses and the hat, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah right. we were. <laughs> You didn't know who looking, you were. We were looking for our persona. <laughs> you were looking just at the time. I was giving you a bad time about. It. I was kept think, still kept thinking you should just keep your mouth shut and just <laughs> just. He's out of here. <laughs> just and not talk. Do, uh, just use your face my soda. and let me do the talking. And I still think there. to this day that would have been a hysterical act. I would do all the talking, and he would just react facially. Sort of the in the, the way that Harpo Marx, who was an enigma, a genius musician, and and but very mysterious. Uh, man, I, Slim had that going. Well, you guys, you guys started have talking. <laughs> I say like, is that <laughs> now he's who he is. Now, uh oh. Now, now when you guys are at the Sutter Creek Theater and you joke about, hey, we should go across the street for a short and a shot, you know, the, the old. Bar ah, bar. the good old days. And uh, what? Did, the, what the uh, the maiden name joke is still a classic. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah we uh, yeah you gotta remember that. Sour the early. comic timing you guys have. Occasionally it's on. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be on tonight. Yeah. Last By the way, what, speaking of time, what time is it? Seven fifteen. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, oh, seven fifteen. Seven sixteen. Oh, we go on at eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. You guys I know, but I gotta get ready. Don't listen to Ross. It could take me forever. <laughs> I love you like my pony in the 
stage. No introduction is necessary, but ladies and gentlemen, Sourdough Slim and the Saddle Pals. <laughs> Yeah. 